What's up, my beautiful radiant souls? Welcome back to Self Centered, the Yellow Pill Podcast, where we keep it real, keep it fun, and keep you at the center of your life. I'm your host, Sheena, and today's episode is about one of my absolute favorite topics that I use to guide me on a daily basis, and that is energy. That's right, we're talking about the vibes, baby, the good ones, the bad ones, and how the energy you bring into every space can make or break your life. Now, I know you heard the saying good vibes only, but let me tell you, it's more than just a cute Instagram caption. The energy you bring can literally shape your entire experience of life, whether it's at work, in relationships, or just within yourself. The vibes you put out come back to you tenfold. So how do you make sure you're sending out the right kind of energy? Well, buckle up because today we're diving into how to cultivate and maintain positive energy in all aspects of your life, yellow pill style. If you've been feeling drained, low-key negative, or like you're stuck in a loop of bad energy, honey, we're about to change all of that. So let's get into it. Good vibes only from here on out. All right, let's start with a little reality check. Energy is everything. The way you show up in the world, the energy you bring to the room, and the vibes you give off. These things matter way more than you probably even realize. Here's the shocking truth. Energy is contagious. Whether it's positive or negative, your energy is going to affect the people around you, your opportunities, and even the outcomes of your day. You ever walk into a room and instantly feel the vibe? And I know that when I walk into a room, I can change the energy and the vibe of the room. Maybe it's tense, maybe it's joyful, maybe it's heavy. You can feel it, right? That's the energy in the room. And guess what? You have the power to control the energy you bring into every single space. Now, if your energy is off, you're going to attract some serious negativity. And I'm not just talking about toxic people going too far or anything like that. I'm talking about missed opportunities, bad situations, and just a general sense of like feeling blah, like nothing's working out, apathetic. But when your energy is on point, when you're vibrating high, that's when the magic happens. When people want to be around you, doors open and life just flows in a better way. So let's get into how to keep those vibes right. We want good energy around here. Now, if you're new here, let me explain to you the yellow pill philosophy really quick. It's all about self-awareness, self-love, and self-actualization. Basically, it's about prioritizing you and your energy first. So when it comes to good vibes, the yellow pill approach is simple. You are the source of your energy. You're not waiting for someone else to give you good vibes. Nope. You create them from within. So, when you take the yellow pill, what you're saying is, I'm responsible for the energy I bring to the table. And that's empowering. It means you have the control to shift your mood, your day, and your whole life just by changing your energy. But let's keep it real. Sometimes your energy energy like gets really low. Life can throw you a curveball. You're dealing with something that you never thought that you would have to deal with. Stress happens. People irritate you. That's all part of our human experience. And honestly, that's okay. The key is not letting those low moments control your entire vibe. We're talking about a balanced vibe, one that's both positive and negative. The yellow pill mindset is all about being aware of your energy, taking the responsibility for it and making conscious choices to keep it positive even when things get messy. All right, now let's get practical on how you cultivate and maintain that high vibe energy. Even when the world tries to drain you, here are some real life no BS tips you can start using today to keep your vibe up. Let me hit you with some tips. Okay, so number one, No, not everyone that you run into will be deserving of your energy and not everyone should have access. That's right. If someone brings negativity, drama, or just bad vibes into your space, it's time to protect your energy. 
And that might mean setting some serious boundaries. Listen, you're not being rude by protecting your space. You're being smart. You are the CEO of your energy and not everyone gets a seat at your table. I want you to repeat that. You are the CEO of your energy and not everyone should get a seat at your table. Okay, this is my second tip and it's to watch your words. The words you speak have massive energy. Have you ever noticed that when you say something negative, even as a joke, you can shift your whole mood? That's because words are energy in action. So start paying attention to what you're saying, especially to yourself. Are you speaking life into your situation or are you talking down on yourself? Flip the script. Replace I can't with I'm capable. Replace I'm tired with I'm recharging. Your words shape your reality, so make sure they're high five. And let's talk gratitude. I know it sounds cliche, but hear me out. Gratitude is the easiest way to shift your energy from negative to positive. When you focus on what you're grateful for, you stop focusing on what's wrong, and that's a game changer in your life. Every morning, you need to take a minute, just one minute, that's 60 seconds, to name three things you're grateful for. It doesn't have to be deep. It could be your coffee, your favorite song, or the fact that you even woke up feeling great today. This practice shifts your energy and sets the tone for a very high vibe day. And another tip that I have that I absolutely love is move your body. This shifts my energy daily when I'm feeling low because energy flows where your attention goes and nothing gets your energy moving like, well, moving. Whether it's dancing in your living room, going for a walk or hitting the gym, just move. When you move your body, you release the stagnant energy and you just start vibrating higher. And guess what? People will notice that glow. So when you're feeling stuck or sluggish, make sure you shake it off literally. Now let's talk about energy in relationships. When it's your boo, your bestie, or your coworkers, relationships are an energy exchange. You give energy and you receive energy. But here's the kicker. If you're giving more than you're receiving, that's a problem. You can't pour from an empty cup if you're constantly giving your energy away without taking time to recharge you're going to burn out so make sure your relationships are balanced surround yourself with people who uplift you not drain you and remember it's okay to step back from people who aren't vibrating on your level that's not selfish that's self-care now while we're on the subject of energy and self-care let me remind you of two books that are going to take your self-love and energy gain to a whole new level. First up, my book, The Self-Love Letter, is available at theselfloveletter.com. It's packed with affirmations, exercises, and all the tools you need to build a rock-solid foundation of self-love. And let me tell you, when you love yourself, your energy naturally starts to glow. But that's not all. I've also got The Yellow Pill, your Complete Guide to a Self-Centered Life, which is available on Amazon. This book is all about embracing self-awareness, self-love, and self-actualization. So head over to Amazon, type in Sheena Aaron, and grab both those books today. Trust me, they're going to help you level up your energy in ways you didn't even know were possible. All right, my loves, that's it for today's episode of Self-Centered. I hope you're feeling inspired to start cultivating and protecting your energy like the high vibe goddess or God that you are. Remember, energy is everything and you have the power to control it. You deserve to feel good. You deserve to vibrate high and you deserve to live a life that's filled with good vibes only. So if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment and share it with someone who needs a little energy shift in their life. And next week, we're diving into a topic that you're going to love. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. Keep your vibes high, protect your energy, and always put yourself first. Catch you next time on the Self-Centered Podcast. Later.